What's up guys and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to let players choose a setting at the start of the game in Fortnite Creative and it shows up on their screen just like this and it has a title and it has two options that players can choose from. Don't forget to like and subscribe this tutorial helps you but out. Anyway let's just get straight into the video. Okay guys so first obviously you're going to want a pop up dialogue device and change the title to whatever you want the setting to be so I just put choose your gravity. And you can add the description if you want, but I haven't. Put auto display. You can put this to game style, you can put it to never. And then go to the channels and then put show where I'm receiving from to any free channel you haven't used. But I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to do it from game start. So I'm just going to put auto display to game start. Next, put timeout duration to anything you want. I just put it to 15 seconds, but you can put it anything you want. Normal, because it's to do with your title with your settings so I put normal and then button 2 I put low gravity put text box transparency to yes I've just done that we don't have to don't want to and then when responding button 2 transfer on any free channel I've done channel 2 and that's because uh, with button 1 I already have normal uh, gravity like by default in the game so I don't need to set up a uh, class for that but for button 2 I do because uh, it's low gravity so that's why I put a channel on only the second one, not the first one. Otherwise, if it was a different setting, you'd put that to a different channel. Next, put a, a take out a class selector, and the settings are going to change our class to switch to to any class you haven't used yet. I put one time to switch instant. Sure, health and shields on switch no. Volume visible during games off. Visible during games off. Activation audio off. Zone audio off. Display VFX or activation no, and change player to class from zooming from whichever button you're doing uh, with this class. So I'm doing low gravity, so I put shadow two because that's what I put for button two, and then put class name to whatever setting you're doing. Class identifier put it as the same as the class selector, so it's one. Put a grant and reward weapons to no, and then your setting. So for me, it's gravity, and I put this to low. So now let's start the game and test it out. So as you can see, I'm going to start the game up right now. And once I load in, it instantly pops up on my screen. It says choose your gravity. And I'm going to press B, which it says low gravity. And then now once I press that, I have low gravity. And it just works as seamlessly as that. And it's just really simple. And now I'm going to show you with the um, other settings. So if I start off a new game and I put choose your gravity, I'm going to press A for normal gravity. And then that's not... Uh, connected to anything so it's just like you're pressing a button to say ok and then it's just normal gravity and that's how you make custom settings for different players in Fortnite Creative just an idea you could also put the two settings as like uh, choosing a shotgun so you could do like pump or tack and then you put an item granted to uh, a button 1 and an item granted to button 2 with the channels and then you could like let the player choose what weapon they want, but that's just another idea with the pop-up dialogue device. Don't forget to like and subscribe, this tutorial helps you out, so you can see more Fortnite Creator tutorials just like this. And also, we're so close to a thousand subscribers now, and it helped me out a lot. Check out this playlist on screen now, it shows all my Fortnite Creative tutorials I've ever made. And I'm sure you guys will find something in there that you find helpful. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.